and welcome, welcome back, back to game number two. Now this will be the yeah game two. Bobcat softball. SWIC Blue Storm. And the Southwestern Illinois College Storm. Uh, last game, uh, Frontier uh, Bobcats. They won that game 6-4. to four. In a close comeback game. It was it was a really good game that, that last game. They were tied and then uh, Swick came up on top and then the Bobcats came back and held that. They held that lead all the way to the end. Um, Swick kind of threatened there with runners on base with the two outs and finally ended uh, ended that game with uh, with an out and nothing hurt. Um, Coach Slover just came up and told us that uh, Carly Bean had just. Um, set a record or broke a record for strikeouts so far in a season at 100. If I heard him correctly, he kind of come up here and mumbled it really fast and um, you had to get back out there on the field. Get back out there on the field and so <laughs> if, I, if I'm incorrect on that, I apologize, but I do know that he did say that she did um, have a strikeout record at hit her 100th strikeout for the season. Um, and congratulations. She did pitch an amazing game. She had actually in that last game, she had a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine strikeouts. Wow. Yes, nine strikeouts. She had a good game. She had a good game, only gave up. Player like, of the game, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Looks like six, six, seven hits. She only gave up seven hits. All right, so um, oh, game is underway. They oh, wasted no time. They We're wasted ten minutes early. <laughs> yes, yes, which that's fine, you know. Let's get this game going. Fifteen, so, Anna Cox is up to bat now. Oh, yes. One-one oh. one now for her. No outs yet. She's the first batter. <laughs> she is the first batter. We have ball high. So we uh, Southwestern Illinois College coach has uh, changed up the lineup a little bit. Um, and feel free to comment, everyone. This is a new game, so we need new, new comments. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Anna Cox. And I believe, yeah, number 15, Ivy Edwards, is on the mound f at this game. And we have a changer of scoreboards. Hey, and there we go. And there is a strikeout. Jeremy sat out this game. <laughs> yeah, he said, I'm done. Someone else can do it. I know how frustrated he can get, too, because I work with him at Walmart. <laughs> oh, you do. Yeah, he's my team lead. <laughs> yeah, I, I went to school he with Jeremy. He gets frustrated easy. <laughs> yes, I went to school with Jeremy. Can't remember if we were same age or if he is a year under me. Um, no. Takes ball outside. This is number 13. One out as of yet. She takes a strike. So 1-1 one, one count. To get their lineup back up here. I did not grab that lineup. Uh, tried to catch their coach, but seemed busy. After that game, he was not happy. Not happy. Oh, there's a hit to short to first out. for the out. <laughs> nice play. Nice play. So we have a six three. For out number two, that's a good start to the game. All right, now we've got number 24 up to bat, Maddie Davis. And that wind's picking up and the there sun's going down. Yes. 
starting to get oh, cooler. That cloud, I think it's just the clouds yeah. moving in. We've got strike Feels like one. the eclipse again. <laughs> <laughs> Where were you for the eclipse? On my hill. <laughs> On your hill? That, mm -hmm. That's what I did. I, I avoided all uh, traffic. Yeah. traffic. That's and, exactly uh, what I did as well. Crowds. I just stayed home and Stay away from people. <laughs> stayed me and my dog sat on the back deck and watched it from there. And it was cool at my house. You could see uh, the sunset around the fields. Oh, yes. When it, yeah. it was awesome. So <laughs> you I probably said. couldn't see that in town with buildings and trees. No. <laughs> yeah, same here. I have nothing around me but fields. So it was same a here. big, wide open space. Oh, she takes a hit by pitch. So she will... Uh, Gotta hurt. Walk on down to first. Oh, wait. Uh, so yeah, Maddie Davis. And up to bet now, we have Colleen Jank. Uh, uh, number Colleen. 17, yep. Colleen. And there's a hit. We'll just call her Colleen. <laughs> okay. At three outs now. She got out first. So uh, yes. scoreless uh, going in the bottom of the first. You're watching Mule Nation uh, powered by RJ Marketing. What blacks, flowers, and gifts in downtown Fairfield make someone smile with some flower therapy. Whether they deserve a high five or need to feel better, a beautiful fresh floral arrangement from blacks will fit the bill. Also check out blacks for that perfect gift. They carry home decor, locally made jewelry, soaps and candles, candy and snack baskets, and balloon bouquets for flower therapy or gifts for any occasion. See Plaques Flowers and Gifts at 310 East Main in Fairfield or call 618-847-7076. And welcome back here to Southwest Park uh, at the bottom of the first inning for game number two. Twenty-three uh, for the Blue Storm. The c catcher will be Caroline Gibson, and the pitcher is number twenty-two, Kylie Angel. A.J. Howell, number 13, up to bat for the Bobcats. I know her folks are watching somewhere. Feel free to comment. So we are underway here. Players laying up the mound. Talk it over. You can hear the Bobcats dugout saying get it going. Couldn't agree more. <laughs> Let's get this started. Let's get the show on the road. <laughs> Woohoo! Up to bat, yeah. AJ's up to bat. Ooh, that hit the shoulder of the umpire. Umpire, that's that that stings. Yeah, that's that doesn't that feel good. He's gonna need some ice. <laughs> that 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 stings a little bit. That'll leave a mark. Just shake it off and. <laughs> he he he's just gonna try to you know. Tap asked it out. him yeah. if he want if she wanted him to kiss it. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> At least she was apologetic in the sense, you know. Right. But that was a good cut. I mean, that's the type of sports sense of humor to have, you know. I mean, that's. I mean, umpires do wear the gear too, and sometimes, you know, the the gear doesn't always cover the shoulders, the full shoulder area. And but he walked it off. <laughs> he'll. F it, there'll be a mark tomorrow. Mm-hmm. If it, oh well, there'll be probably already a mark now, but yeah. A know. red one. <laughs> Nice red one. It'll turn purple. Oh, she chased that one on the outside. Strike number two. One ball. One to the count. <coughs> Coach Jill's saying go to work. Couldn't agree yeah. more. Let's go. Let's do this. Crystal's saying hi. AJ Mom oh, here. Welcome. There's a pop-up to 
the third baseman, and she has that for the out. Yep, that was Colleen <laughs> with the catch, a third. <laughs> All right, we've got Edwards up to bat now. Number 15, our pitcher for today. Pitching away. Strike. She takes strike one. Oh, jams are on the inside. Just a ball. Just inside ball. We'll take that. It was. One one the count. There is a little blooper to center. It's just at the edge of the grass. Nice. Single for Ivy. And then we've got number nine, Carly Bean, up to bat. Who had an amazing game last game. On the mound and at the plate. There's a pop-up and out of play. That'll be out of play for a strike, right? Correct. Foul ball. It's a strike. She takes ball up. One, one, the count for being. Runner on first. One out. Still zero, right. zero. She takes ball two out. Two, one the count. There is one out and Ivy is at first base. Hibbit uh, on deck for the Bobcats. Pitch on the way. Mm, yep, and Foul. that is foul ball and out of play. Strike two. So we have two balls and two strikes. One out. And you stay on top of that ball. Because they definitely are not going to give her anything that she can get a hold of, come close to. Pitch on the way. And there's another one. Hey, way to fight. Good fight there, Carly. Keep battling. Um, number 22, Kylie Angel is pitching for uh, the Blue Storm. Swick. Yep, Blue Storm. And there is a, oh, and that one is foul and out of play. Hit the Lions uh, table there. <laughs> Lion shed. Oh, the, oh, out there, mm -hmm. yeah, in the shed. Between yeah. uh, this field and the high school's field. <laughs> they have a nice little park for kids to play around here. They do. We have done so much work and out there. Oh, and there's a pop up into on the right side, and it drops for a foul. Still a two ball, two strike count. Yeah, the only one thing that I kind of wish we would have done in the when we first started building these fields way back in the day mm -hmm. was pl added some trees. Yeah. For some shade. There's ground ball to third. Out at first. And out at first. But Ivy does um, advance to second on the play. Puts her in scoring position. All right, we've got two outs now. And Cat Hibbit up to bat. She takes ball one.
pitch in the way. And there's a foul ball back. I kind of flinched there. <laughs> you flinched. Yeah. We got a fence. I'm a sissy. <laughs> you're okay. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, those ones that come straight back and you're like, oh, but. Pitching away. Swing and a miss. Strike two. One, one the count. Two bouts. Runner on second. No, it's a foul ball, so we've got two strikes, correct? Oh, no, yep. One. Two strikes. Oh. It's okay. All right, one to the count. <laughs> All right, pitch on the way. That was a ball out. All right, so now it's 2-2. Two, two. Yes, 2-2-2 two, two, two across the board. Mm-hmm. And there is a hit high into left field. Left fielder is under it and for the catch for out number three. So that'll do it for the first the inning. inning. Scoreless thus far. But we'll take a quick break here. You're listening to Meal Nation powered by RJ Marketing. Are you a small business owner? Say goodbye to bookkeeping headaches. At FNB Financial Tax and Consulting, our top-notch accounting services will keep your finances in order, allowing you to focus on what you do best, growing your business. With FNB Financial, you're not just a client, you're family. Contact us at 618-842-2183 or visit us online at fnbcommunitybank.com. Experience peace of mind with our expert support. All right, okay. and welcome back to Southwest Park. Top of the second inning, still scoreless. Now we've got Ivy Edwards on the mound and Abby Cunningham behind the plate. So we got to pitch and change this game. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't have left Carly out there to pitch another game. I mean, she did so good. The last game, you know, needs a rest. Save that energy. <laughs> well, that and, you know, when you've got some – so many pitchers, you know. You want to switch it up anyway. Yeah, you have to give. Got to give them a rest. You don't want to throw that arm out. Um, you know, even though they're older and you can go as many as you want to go, but uh, yeah, it's if if you got them, use them. You know, and I watched Ivy pitch um, that last game I did for the Lady Bobcats, and she did she did a great job on during that game too. Well, that was a First strike for ball one for number five, Lexi Ryan. She takes strike two for a one ball, two strike count. Swing strike three. Ivy strikes her out. <coughs> There's a high pitch, but Number 23. Coach did move from add some few players. Caroline Gibson. Strike two. So yeah, up to bat is number 23, Caroline Gibson. And there is a, another foul ball. Sun is shining here in Fairfield, Illinois. It's a bit cloudy, but it's better than what we've had this week. Oh, but I see blue skies out there along with those clouds, and we have not seen any blue sky. That is a hit to right field. All right fielder's under it, and she has it for the catch. So they'll do it for the top of the second inning into the. Nope, nope, nope no, we're still here. Number two. All right. 
It's okay. Chill down. All right. <laughs> I know. It was quite exciting there. Yeah. I was in over my head. <laughs> you, it's okay. You were thinking into the future. <laughs> We've got number one. Oh. Mm, that empire's having bad luck. Um, and he's um, like, what the heck? <laughs> Give me umpire's a break. Empire's getting it from all areas. All right, number one is Chloe Segarra, S-E-G-A-R-R-A. Again, if I mispronounce any of these names, I do apologize. So, Chloe Segarra. And feel free to leave a comment, too. She takes the ball in. One, two, the count. Two outs. One, one, rather. <laughs> it's okay. There we go. There was a hard hit to shortstop. Bean on her stomach and lets it go. I'll get it right sometime. So left field. So we've got it. Single for Chloe. So she's on first base. Let's see here. We looking at number eight. Uh, oh, I got it right here. That is going to be Carly. a Foss, four, four Sterling. <laughs> yeah, four Sterling. That's what I said. She was the courtesy runner um, last game. Carly was. Takes ball up. Wind's picking up. Mm -hmm. Really hasn't uh, calmed down much. There's another hit to left center field. Center, they're on the run and to the fence. That will definitely score one run. And I'll make it a for, double for her. Yeah, for Carly, eight. <laughs> Carly gets an RBI double. Wynn carried that one, too, a little bit. Up to bat now we is number seven, Zoe Boyd. <laughs> Zoe, S-O-I-E. <laughs> and that's a strike. Pitch on the way. Ball inside. Swick does have a runner at second. There are two outs. And another ball high. Just need to get that one more out. <coughs> yeah, the inning. Yep. Yeah. Blue Storm's already on the board with one run. And there's another hit just over the second baseman's head. That's going to – oh, no attempt at home. That run will score. That's a – Two over on now. RBI single for Zoe. Yeah, Jarber was the intended catcher right there, but it slipped past her fingers. All right, we're back to the top of the lineup with number 15, Anna Cox. And she's oh, safe Zoe. at second. Yeah, Zoe stole second base. She got a good jump on that. She got close there. <laughs> yeah, 15 and Cox up to bat. Uh -huh. Top of the lineup. Uh, last time up at bat, Anna Cox struck out. And it looks like that might be the case again. 0 to the count. Two outs. Pitch on the way. Out. And he calls strike three. So that'll do it for the top of the second inning. The Blue Storm leads the Bobcats 2 to nothing. You're listening to Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. No time to run to the bank? No problem. People's National Bank makes banking easy and convenient with PMB to go mobile banking. PMB to go allows you to deposit checks, pay bills, transfer money between accounts, view your statements, turn your debit card off and on, and much more, all on your smartphone. It truly is banking at your fingertips with PMB to go mobile banking. People's National Bank, member FDIC. 
All right, and welcome back here to Southwest Park at the Bobcats softball field. In the bottom of the second inning, the Bobcats getting ready to bat, making some runs of their own. The Blue Storm just scored their first two runs of the game, so it's a 2 0 ball game. 22, uh, Kylie Angel, the pitcher for SWIC. And the catchers, number 23, Caroline Gibson. Sweet Caroline. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> yeah, I tend to sing some up here some sometimes. <laughs> okay, thanks for that warning. <laughs> All right, we're going to have uh, number 23, Abby Cunningham, up to bat. She is the catcher for the Bobcats. 2-3. Her sister wears 32, which is backwards of 23. <laughs> Ironic. Really? Pitch in the way. That's a stretch. And let us know where you're watching from. Feel free to comment. In game one, Abby, oh, never mind. There is a nice high oh, right to center field. She hit that. Made good solid contact on that uh, ball, but was right to the center fielder. And the sun wasn't a factor at that time. It was in the clouds. <laughs> so she caught that pretty easily. <laughs> All right, we've got, uh, oh, number two. Yeah, let me see. This is uh, Madeline Griswold, yes. freshman. And, she uh, grounds the short. She's safe at first with that nice slap hit. Skin of her teeth. <laughs> it was, that was pretty close to being an out. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, she but pitches fast, it's and safe. that's what the slapper. Oh, yes. That's what a slapper does is. Uh, mm-hmm. So that was number two. And here's Riley coming to him. Up to bat now, number 32. Pitch on the way. Take the ball high. Eyes down, drive the ball here, says Coach Ellis. Pitch on the way. Oh, she takes a ball inside. That was really close. Mm -hmm. She should have, like, Eat it stuck, her, stuck her belly out just a little bit more, just kind of flinched. and uh, Eat it. <laughs> it only hurts for a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's a good pain, though. <laughs> All right, and this is catchable. Yeah, and that's caught by number five, uh, Lexi Ryan. For the Blue yeah. Storm. All right, we've got number 17 up to bat, Kinley Sparks. Freshman. Let's see if she can spark some life. <laughs> Pitch in the way. Oh, she fouls that one back for a strike. Oh, one to count. Right. Two outs. Bobcats still have uh, Maddie Griswold um, on first base. She reached on that infield single. And the pitch. And there's uh, another foul. Foul and out of play. Eyes down. They are. Pitching inside, so she's got to get out in front of that ball. Um, they're trying to jam him pretty good, so. Anyway, pitch on the way. And there's a pop high short center field, and it's down, and she is rounding third. Oh, she's, he's going to hold her up. Ellis is going to hold her up for a single for Kinley Sparks. That's probably for the best. Yes. <laughs> So we got runners on the corners with two Eight. outs. All right, we've got Rylan up to bat. Double zero. Oh. 
She takes strike one. Last game, she was the, it's like every time she came up to bat, there was two outs, and she started that those two out rallies, and uh, we've got two outs right now, and she's got runners at first and third, and she um, can really start. Oh, there's a blooper to th second. Out of first. The first. And for the 4-3, put out in Frontier. Trails two to nothing, going in the top no. of the third. So we'll take a quick break here. You're listening to Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. When a Fairfield fire truck needs a repair, Cam's there to keep things rolling. And as part of the volunteer fire department, Justin's looking out for Cam and all of Fairfield. Everyone supports each other. And Wayne White Electric Cooperative supports them all with safe, reliable power for every one of our members. It's why REMCs exist. And together, it all works. And welcome back here to Southwest Park. It's the top of the third inning where the Southwestern College Blue Storm uh, leads. Southwestern the, Illinois. Yeah, Southwestern Illinois specifically. Yes. Uh, other known as just Swick. Yeah, I should just call him Swick. It's a lot that's, more simpler. It is. That's why I say Swick. Swick is easy to say. You know who you're talking about. Yeah. That's okay. But oh, anyway, they uh, Swick leads it two to nothing, and that's ball one. Yeah, we've got number thirteen Kennedy Hiley up to bat. She takes ball two. All right, still have Edwards out on the mound. Uh, she's done a pretty good job out there so far. She has um, one strikeout. Her defense, oh, two strikeouts, I take that back, three. One, two, three. We've got three strikeouts for Edwards. But nope, and then there was a walk. I believe that is her first walk of the game, and then... Um, She's only had another hit by pitch. So that was Kennedy Hiley, 13, who just walked. And up to bat now we have number 24, Maddie Davis. Yes, Maddie Davis is up to bat. Pierce pitch. That's a strike. Oh, and there's a blooper to left field. Oh, shortstop has it. Carly, is that short? Yep, that's She's got Bean. that for the out. For out number one. Now we have number 17, Colleen Jonky or Janky, up to bat. Last game. She had uh, two RBIs. And there's a hit right up the middle. Oh, Bean goes for the stretch. All right, so now uh, AJ there in center field gets that ball in quick. Keep that runner at second. So now... Swick has runners at first and second. And we've got number five, Lexi Ryan, up to bat. Maybe we can hit into a double play. Oh, she's on a bunt. Got ball low for one ball, one strike count. <coughs> we got runners on second and first with one out. Two nothing. Swick leads it. We can extend it more. And there is a hit to center field over AJ's head. Hits the fence. She throws it in quick. Run scores one and oh, we got got her runner in a pickle. And then 
Oh, there she goes. Got her. Got and her. And the now she's second one. oh. Got. So that'll do it for this. That was a uh, nice. Uh, got, got the runner in the pickle. So uh, in the pickle, she got her out um, in between third and home, and then they threw it to third to get the runner that was going from. Second to first, which was Lexi Ryan, and they tagged her out. Um, that was a very close play. That was a bonanza right there. Huh? It was a very close play. Uh -huh. I, I don't know. But, yes, the, he called her out, so that was out number three. So, anyway, um, they get one run in that inning. So, it's a 3 uh, ball game. It is. It is a three. Uh, yeah. Yes, it is. It will be now. It yes. will be well on the third. We'll take a quick break here. You're listening to Mule Nation powered by RJ Marketing. It's a beautiful day in Fairfield, isn't it? Introducing a new weekly podcast on Friday mornings at 8.30 a.m. on YouTube. It's a beautiful day in Fairfield. Featuring local events and news, special guests, birthdays, anniversaries, trivia, and more. Follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel, at RJ on the air. So welcome back here to Southwest Park. It's the bottom of the third inning. Uh, Schwicka leads uh, the FCC uh, three to nothing. We have AJ Howell up to bat for the Bobcats. And let us know where you're commenting from. Feel free to let us know where you're watching from. Or whether you're from Kentucky, Illinois, anywhere. Get this. Uh, oh, yes. How did you do that? I have no idea. We hit buttons, and it worked. Instead of having to shut it off and turn it back on again. Woohoo! Finally, some luck. <laughs> All right. So we've got, uh, oh, there's a bunt. The foul ball. Foul ball right in the box. AJ's up to bat. It's her first strike. Now, normally, if we mess up on the scoreboard, we'd never figure out how to fix the run, so we just shut it off and turn it back on and start all over again. And because you don't see yes. a scoreboard on your screen, it's because we decided not to do a scoreboard camera because the wind uh, was uh, significantly high earlier. So we didn't want it to blow over, play it safe. Yeah, what he said. And there's a foul for strike two. All right, AJ's uh, top of the lineup. Last at bat, she had a fly ball to, to third base. And there's another blooper. Oh, right to over to the shortstop for out number one. We have Mike Cunningham commenting, so. saying good to see some of the injured players returning. Indeed. Yes, uh, it's correct. Um, I believe the last game I did, there were a few injured players. Um, like I said, this is my second game with the Bobcats, so I hadn't kept up with who was where and what, but yes, I, there's some unfamiliar faces on the field. They're doing an amazing job. All right, we've got number 15, your pitcher, Ivy Edwards, up to bat. And there's a foul ball and out of play for strike one. Pitch. Ball high. So it'll be Number. two balls, one strike for Edwards, one out. Bottom of the third inning. 3-0, Schwick leads it. Yeah, it's a lot easier just to call him Schwick.
All right, we've got two balls and one strike. We've got one out. There are no runners on the bags at this moment. Hey, Edwards is fighting. She's hung in there for strike two. That's a dangerous spot to be in that box right now. <laughs> That's where you want to be is in the box. Yeah. I just got, I so the catcher uh, got the ball tipped off her mask. <laughs> oh, that's why they wear equipment. Oh, yes. If they didn't, then uh, that you would. You have a busted jaw. <laughs> and a lot of other things, but that's why they wear equipment. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we've got three balls and two strikes on Edwards. Three to the count. And last at bat, she did have a single. So... And stole second base. And there's a little jammed hit to short, to first, and got her out at first. Out number she two. Missed, just got out by about half a step. Now here's Carly being up to bat now, number nine. Last time up to bat, Carly hit into a 5-3 ground out. Uh, she did have an amazing first game. Pitch. Swing oh, and miss. she checked her swing. She saw that up there and was like, nah, I don't want to do that. Mm. And But it was too late. So, it happens. Okay, so let's take a breath and just come back at it. Pitch on the way. And then there's a swing for a strike two. Right in your living rooms. <laughs> All right, deep breath, yes. eyes down, says Coach Hills. Oh, game one, Carly Bean did have a home run. So she had a two-run home run. Along with pitching her 100th strikeout. So she must be feeling it. She's, she's looking pretty good. I mean, I say pretty good. She's looking great. And there's another high fly ball to left field. Short left field out. And a short stop has it for the out. So that is out number three for uh, the Bobcats. And top of the they fourth inning we go. None. And top of the fourth. Score Th is three to nothing. You're listening to Mule Nation powered by RJ Marketing. Are you a small business owner? Say goodbye to bookkeeping headaches. At FNB Financial Tax and Consulting, our top-notch accounting services will keep your finances in order, allowing you to focus on what you do best, growing your business. With FNB Financial, you're not just a client, you're family. Contact us at 618-842-2183 or visit us online at fnbcommunitybank.com. Experience peace of mind with our expert support. And welcome it back. Is. The popcorn here. I mean, you cannot beat the popcorn here at Southwest Park ever. Brag about I it. Mean, <laughs> I am. I'm going to because, I mean, they need they need to go around and teach people how to make popcorn because it is not too salty. It's just, like, perfect. And even when it gets cold, it's still perfect. I mean, we do. We just have really good popcorn out here. Mm-hmm. And cheap. It's just a dollar. I mean... All right, Caroline Gibson, 23, up to bat for Schwick. Top of the fourth inning, 3-0. Schwick leads it. She takes ball high. She takes ball two. We've got a two ball count on Caroline. Put them away. And there's a ground ball to third, over to first for the out. Nice, nice job. Just makes that look so easy. More plays like that, and this game out. will be over quick. <laughs> Right. Well, and that's what a pitcher needs to do is just let her defense do the work. Mm-hmm. All right, number, number one, Chloe Segara up to bat now. 
for the Blue Storm. Pitch on the way. Out of first. Out of first. Two easy outs for Edwards. All right. We've got number eight, Carly Forsterling, up to bat. Last time up to bat, she had a double to the left center field fence. Ball inside. Pitch on the way. Ivy, ball high. Again, number 15, Ivy Edwards is your pitcher for Frontier. Pitch on the way. And there's a strike. Two one to count. For two balls, one strike. Two outs. I'll catch oh. just one more out. It's That's a three nothing, a Schwick lead. And there's strike two. So for two balls, two strikes. There are no runners on base. I know our camera is not showing actual first and third base. Um, could not get that set for some reason to show the entire field. Yeah, it's zoomed out as far as it'll go. It should be, yeah, zoomed out. The best back. we could do is move it left and right. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Bob and I had, or Derek and I, we had it last game where it showed, but it may just be the just the setting itself it's okay if anyone has any problems that's why we're here for to give the commentary so that was a ground ball to second base to first for out number three and uh the blue storm do not get any runners and no hits and no one scores so uh oh. bottom of the fourth inning we go 3-0 schwick leads it you're listening to mule nation powered by rj marketing no time to run to the bank? No problem. People's National Bank makes banking easy and convenient with PMB to go mobile banking. PMB to go allows you to deposit checks, pay bills, transfer money between accounts, view your statements, turn your debit card off and on, and much more, all on your smartphone. It truly is banking at your fingertips with PMB to go mobile banking. People's National Bank, member FDIC. All right, and welcome Good back. Deal. That was quick. That was a quick yeah, we commercial. Yeah, we don't have very many commercials for a college. So I just decided to play one. So Kylie Angels pitching for Schwick. Caroline Gibson's the catcher. Oh, you did get their lineup. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Thanks. Yeah, try to stay on top of things. <laughs> Here's AJ up to bat. Pitch on the way. And that's a hit in between short and third. No, that that wasn't AJ. That was a uh, cat. Yeah, My bad. Exactly. That's why I. Yep. All right, so we've got Abby Cunningham up to bat, our catcher for the Bobcats. So we get off to a good start. Ah, uh, it's a strike right down the middle for Cunningham. Last time up to bat, Cat had a fly ball to left field. Oh, and there's a little. Oh, good. It's going to fall. Thank goodness. Mm -hmm. I think Coach Ellis just needs that on recorder because I've heard him say that for so many years. <laughs> And it's such good advice. And there, strike three looking. Oh, that was 
That was that was close to take. All right, we've got number two, Maddie Griswold, up to bat. Oh, she's stealing. Good job, Cat. She takes second easily on that steal. Puts her in scoring position. Oh, that's fouling out of play. One one count. One one and one. Mm -hmm. Which equals three. Yep. Which is what the guests have. Oh, nice. That is a fair ball, I was going to say, because that hit the chalk flu on that one. That was a nice poke right down third baseline, which will score Cat on that one. So Abby gets an RBI. All right, we've got time. We're going to go out and we're going to have a chit-chat here. Oh, and now uh, we've got Coach here. Uh, Back to exchanging words. Exchanging words again. Chalk flu, dude. Chalk flu. I mean, that's a fair ball. When chalk flies, that's a fair ball. That means it hit the line. It just... There's there's no other explanation on that one. I, you could not see that, I don't think, on the camera. Cause, and here we go. So. <coughs> but, yes, that ball did go right over the third baseman, and it hit the green, but it was on the chalk line. Chalk did fly. All right, there is... Strike two. Oh, well, actually. We got Riley up to bat. Yeah, so we got a clear, clear count. There we go. So now. Two. Two strikes. There you go. I know. We, we got into uh, uh, the coach and umpire problem going on over here. That's why. <laughs> I umpired several years. I know that it, it is, and you have so many that. And then you have those that just want to always complain and, you know, just. Uh, who wants to hear that, huh? Well, no, you don't. And sometimes, I, I'm not going to say, you know, there's there's a lot of joking that we do, you know, mm -hmm. with, with coaches and, and have fun, and people sometimes do take it serious. But and, and there are times that, yes, you do need to argue some calls because they are, but all right, there's strike three for a strikeout on Riley. Makes out number two. All right, so we've got number 17, Kinley Sparks, up to bat. Last time up to bat, she had a single right up the middle. Let's see you again. Yes, yeah, score that runner. Trades places with Maddie out there. Oh, no, oh, she checked her swing to second base for a 4-3 out. But, hey, the Bobcats did get one run this inning. So. so the top of the fifth inning we go. You're three one. Uh, Schwick leads it. You're listening to Mule Nation, powered by RG Marketing. When a Fairfield fire truck needs a repair, Cam's there to keep things rolling. And as part of the volunteer fire department, Justin's looking out for Cam and all of Fairfield. Everyone supports each other, and Wayne White Electric Cooperative supports them all with safe, reliable power for every one of our members. 
It's why REMCs exist. And together, it all works. All right. And welcome back. All right, that was an eventful uh, last half inning there. All right, so Swick is up to bat, and we've got number seven, Zoe Boyd. Her last time up to bat, she had an RBI double. Oh, single, I'm sorry. She had an RBI single. And that's a sweet ponytail she has on right now. <laughs> I know. I, You know, honestly, the last time up at the bat that uh, I was looking at that, and I was thought. That's something you'd see off Dune, the new sci-fi movie. <laughs> it's called a fishtail. Yeah. <laughs> Call it a fishtail braid. Like Aquaman. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's kind of funny. <laughs> All right. So she's got two balls on her. All right. Ball three. All right, Ivy, just need to settle down. Just, uh, hey, that's all, you, that's all she needs to do. Just get settled down here. And there's ball four for a uh, four-ball walk. So uh, you just Zoe's going to take first. Sometimes you just got to relax, think for a moment, yeah. and rewind yourself. <laughs> like me sometimes. <laughs> All right, so we are back to the top of the lineup. Oh, got it picked off. Oh, we just safe. Nice. That was that was that good. was close. That, that was good communication, good movement. Everybody moved when they were supposed to move. Talk <laughs> to try to get that. Um, so yeah, they're. But Anna Cox is up to bat. She's trying to bunt to um, <laughs> sacrifice that bunt down to move that runner over last two at bats Anna has struck out and then there's a swing for a foul she's got an 0-2 count And there is a hit to left center field. Hits the fence. AJ gets it in. And holds the runners at second and third. So Anna gets a double on that hit. We can do some damage right here. <laughs> uh, they started to already. Oh, come on, Ivy. You can do this, babe. All right, so we've got Kennedy Hiley, number 13, up for the Blue Storm. She takes strike one on that outside corner. Last two at bats. She had a walk. And a ground out to short. And the pitch. And then right back to the pitcher. Looks the runner back to first. She gets the runner out at first. She was one, looking at three. third for a second. Yeah, she was looking that runner back, making sure that runner wasn't going to go. Yeah. So then that way if uh, that to runner. To prevent another run. <laughs> yep. But, yeah, it's pitchers are, are, are taught that. Just as much as they are taught, you know, pitching is make sure you're that close to that runner. All right. So we have one out. And we've got number 24, Maddie Davis, up to bat. Uh, last at bat, Maddie had a fly ball to shortstop and a hit by pitch. Anna Cox is at second. Oh, there is a strike. Nice pitch, Ivy. So we have two balls and one strike. We have Anna at second and Zoe at third. Oh, there's a three balls, one strike. 
her rise ball kind of went up a little too much. I think it got away from her. The pitch. There's strike two for a three ball. Two strike count. There's one out. In the pitch. And there's a hit to the right field, short right field. It's down, which will score a run. So she gets an RBI single out of that. Now we have number 17, Colleen Janke up to bat. Or Jonky. May not be even saying it right. Oh, there's a hard hit to second. To Out at second Double and first. play. They, Frontier Bobcats turn a double play. They go 4-6-3 on that. Only allowing one run this inning. And now the score is 4-1. to one. So the Bobcats will come up to bat. All right, bottom of the fifth inning. Uh, we'll be right back. You're listening to Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. Let Black's Flowers and Gifts in downtown Fairfield make someone smile with some flower therapy. Whether they deserve a high five or need to feel better, a beautiful fresh floral arrangement from Black's will fit the bill. Also check out Black's for that perfect gift. They carry home decor, locally made jewelry, soaps and candles, candy and snack baskets, and balloon bouquets for flower therapy or gifts for any occasion. See Black's Flowers and Gifts at 310 East Main in Fairfield or call 618-847-7076. And welcome back to Southwest Park, the Bobcats softball field, where the Bobcats trail the Schwick Blue Storm 4-1 to at the bottom of the fifth inning. The Bobcats are getting ready to go up to bat here. Yep, we will have Ryland starting us off this inning. Then to the top of the lineup with A.J. and Ivy. Jarbo is a good one to be starting off with. <laughs> yeah, she's been she's been really good uh, last game and a half. Indeed. She uh, yeah, last game she was their two out rally person. She come up with two outs every time and um, made a was you know made base each time. All right, pitch to right. It's a ball out. We are in the bottom of the fifth inning of game two. If you are just now joining us, this is game two. Bobcats won game one, six to four. And there's a hit and foul on the right side. Pitching away. And there's a hit foul ball back. Now to play. She's battling in there. Trying to stay alive. Stay on top of that ball. And the pitch. And then she fights that one off. It's an outside corner pitch. Uh, gets her on a rise ball, strike three. Swinging for out number one in the inning. All right, we've got number 13, top of the lineup, AJ up to bat. She has flown out twice to third and to short. She needs to uh, find a gap. She's not finding a gap today. At least not in this game. She takes ball high. 
2 0 the count. One out. 4 1. Schwick leads it. In the pitch. Oh, she checked her swing. So we have strike one. That's just strike one. Mm -hmm. Two she balls, just, one strike. Uh, she just uh, made the decision too, too late. All right, pitch on the way. Come on, AJ. Ball out. So for ball three, so we have a three ball, one strike count. There is one out. She's battling. <laughs> she's protecting. It's 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 her. She's got one she can mm -hmm. spare if needed. That's the one good thing on a three-one count. And right there is ball four. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, it is. I was like, that is ball four. AJ's like, mm, no. I want to hit. More like, no, get on that base. All right. So she's on a on first for a walk. We've got Ivy, our pitcher for today, or for this game, up to bat. Last up to bat, she had a uh, grounder to short. That is fouling out of play. And in the first inning, Ivy had a a single. You can hear the Bobcats dug up, being yes. cheerful. They're, they're wanting a really good rally to go on right here. They need it. They're trying to get everyone pumped up and going, and that's what's good because you keep hearing, you know, the them cheering. And, oh, there's a pop-up. First base under it for the catch. Out number two. For out number two. Which brings up number nine, Carly Bean. She has flown out to short and a ground out to third. Again, she did have an amazing uh, game one. Pitching and hitting. Her hundredth strikeout. of the season and a home run on top of that. All right, there's a pop-up in the short right center field and right fielder comes in. I thought they were going to collide there for a minute. For the out, number three. Left A.J. on base. So No score. Top of the sixth inning we go. 4-1, Schwick leads it. You're listening to Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. No time to run to the bank? No problem. People's National Bank makes banking easy and convenient with PNB to go mobile banking. PNB to go allows you to deposit checks, pay bills, transfer money between accounts, view your statements, turn your debit card off and on, and much more, all on your smartphone. It truly is banking at your fingertips with PNB to go mobile banking. People's National Bank, member FDIC. And welcome back to Southwest Park. It's a 4-1 uh, Schwick lead, top of the sixth inning. Ivy Edwards is the pitcher, and Abby Cunningham is the catcher. We need to thank our sponsors. You have that paper somewhere to thank our yeah, big somewhere. rack of sponsors. I'll have to find it. Somewhere. Before we forget and this game is ended. I mean, we do thank our sponsors for um, providing us the ability to uh, do this. And everybody watching, just make sure you thank our sponsors for 
All right, she takes one ball, one strike. Nope, we've got number five. It's Lexi Ryan up to bat. She's had a strikeout. Oh, and she gets a hit right into the left center field. Is that one it? Or is that an old one? Oh, okay. We'll do that in between, in between our innings here. All right, so that's strike. I believe she just has strike one. Number 23, Caroline Gibson. It's up to bat. Oh, and there's a swing and a miss. Strike number two. Number five, Lexi Ryan is at first. She had a really good jump there for a minute, I thought. And she's she had some in. good catches throughout the day, too. Yes. And there's foul ball, third base side. That was Riley Cunningham <laughs> over there trying to catch it. All right, last time up at bat, uh, Caroline Gibson grounded out to, oh, and there's a fly ball to our pitcher, Lexi, or Lexi. Ivy. <laughs> Ivy. Hey, it happens. <laughs> we, she it happens catches to it for the Catches it for the out, number one. And speaking she, of number one, let me see who this is for Schwick. Chloe Segara. Chloe Segara. Sounds Italian. <laughs> Could be. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Strike one on Chloe. Um, her last time up to bat, she grounded out to a 4-3. All right. Uh, Lexi there at first base is getting some pretty good jumps. I need to watch her. Two balls, one strike now. One out. And her on first. Top of the sixth inning. Oh, there's a ball in there. She goes. She's got the pass ball advanced to second. So that eliminates that force out. <coughs> Puts her in scoring position. Chloe, ball four. Chloe takes ball four. Now we've got uh, runners at first and second. There is one out. Uh, we'll have infield fly rule in effect. Oh, to bet there is Carly Boersterling. 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 Sorry if we mispronounce these names. We try. Exactly. That's all we can do, right? Yep. Feel free to comment before this game's done with. Oh, there's a foul ball. Bounce back in play. Over by my car. <laughs> yeah, hopefully you didn't park too close. Hopefully not. I park close so I can unload and, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so it's right there and I don't have to walk as far. <laughs> Right. You can park, mm -hmm. move all the way out, and then come back because it's also better than a busted windshield. Oh, and there's a hit in the gap between short and third. That's going to score one. Unless you have insurance. And then, <laughs> well, <laughs> still goes. But that will score one run. That did score one run, yes. So now we've got runners at first and second again. And there is still just one out. We have number seven, Zoe Boyd, up to bat. Her last at bat, which was the last inning, um, she walked and scored. And then she has had an RBI single in this game. 
So she's been doing pretty good. <laughs> she has been doing pretty good. She has been threat, a threat. So anyway, but yes, we've got two balls. Make that three balls Ivy. now. <laughs> three of the count. Ivy just needs to try to settle down in there and. Uh, and if Zoe walks here, its base is loaded. Yeah, that's not. Yeah, it's a strike. It's a nice little screw ball on the inside. Three so we've one got count. three balls, one strike. She's gonna. And the pitch. And there's a hit to the left center field, over her head and hits the hits fence. the brain training center sign. That will score. And that will be a That'll double be a, for Boyd. So RBI double. So it's a 6-1 so uh, lead now. Yes. Now we have runners at second and third. And we have are at the top of the lineup with Anna Cox, which Anna had. Oh, we are going to make a pitching change. And hey, nothing to have. Hold your head on on uh, there, Ivy. She she pitched an amazing game, which you know she played the game before also, and she had she had a great game. Probably a little tired, exhausted, but. All right, so now we've got pitching is number seven. Kaylee Halsema. Halsema, yeah. Kaylee played first base that last game. So. Oh, anyway, while we've got a little break, we can go ahead and thank our sponsors for the... Bobcats. Black's Flowers and Gifts. City of Fairfield. FNB Community Bank, Frontier Community College, People's National Bank, RJ on Main, RJ on the Air, and Wayne Way Electro Cooperative. Thank you all. Not really sure what's going on here. Coach Ellis talking with his Was players here. Seeing what, what they can do. Well, Kaylee gave uh, Ellis the ball. And he was looking at it. So, uh, a new ball. That's why I wondered. I thought maybe that one had a... Probably damaged. I mean, these ball, the balls are getting uh, pretty beat up today. They There have been several hits. In both games. They always get beat up. <laughs> Even the umpires are getting beat up today. Mm-hmm. Left right. shoulder there. <laughs> All right. So they're at the top of their lineup with number 15, Anna Cox. She takes strike one. Last time up to bat, Anna had a single up the middle with center field. And there's another blooper to right center field. It's going to drop. That will score another. So that was Carly that came in. We've got uh, Zoe. At third, and Anna is at first. There's still just one out. And there's a hit into center. She has the catch. Zoe tags and makes it in. So that was an, a sack fly. For out number two. 
All right, looks like Swick's coach is making a change also. Looks like we've got number 14 coming up to bat. Fourteen is Corby Rhine. I think she said fourteen for twenty four. Yes, that fourteen is Corby Rhine. And she's seven for twenty four. <laughs> that's yes. <coughs> Corby takes ball one. Nice pitch, Kaylee. That had a nice sound to it. <laughs> she took a little off on that pitch, a little off-speed pitch. Mm -hmm. Threw Corby off guard. That's a ball out. Oh, runner's going to go. Safe. She's got her in there. Abby kind of bobbled that ball a little bit, which. All right, there's strike three for. Oh, never mind. Strike two. That's what I thought. I thought we just only had one, but. Sometimes you never know. All right, so we've got uh, two, two. Count. On Corby. She takes ball three. All right, we've got three balls, two strikes, two outs. Runner at second. Right now the score is eight to one in favor of Blue Storm. And there is swinging strike three. Got out of that. Uh, Swick scores one, two, three, four. Runs. In that inning, which makes the score now 8-1. to one. So, on the sixth inning we go. You're listening to Mule Nation, powered by RG Marketing. Are you a small business owner? Say goodbye to bookkeeping headaches. At FNB Financial Tax and Consulting, our top-notch accounting services will keep your finances in order, allowing you to focus on what you do best, growing your business. With FNB Financial, you're not just a client, you're family. Contact us at 618-842-2183 or visit us online at fnbcommunitybank.com. Experience peace of mind with our expert support. And welcome back here to Southwest Park at the bottom of the sixth inning. Schwick leads FCC 8-1. Yeah, Frontier will have number 42, Cat Hibbett. Up to bat, followed by Abby Cunningham and number two, Madeline Griswold. Sounds like three hits, three runs. All right, we are in the bottom of the sixth inning. Cat comes to the plate. The pitch. Jams are on the inside pitch. Foul ball back. Strike one. She takes ball one for a 1 1 count. Starting to see a few more blue skies out there. Oh, and there is a hit to left. Oh, right Caught. to the left fielder. That, it looked pretty. Looked pretty. But it was a good catch. <laughs> yeah, just kind of sailed right to the glove. Mm-hmm. 
All right, we've got uh, number 23, Abby Cunningham, up to bat. And there's a hit right up the middle. That could get us started. Abby gets us started with a one-out single. At number two, Maddie Griswold up to bat. She's been on fire this, this game. She's had uh, two hits at two at-bats, and one was an RBI hit. And there's another one in that same area. Nice. Nice slap hit. She advances Abby to second base. So two singles right in a row. We've got number 32, Riley Cunningham up to bat. And there's foul back and out of play. Oh, she takes ball one. So we've got one ball, one strike. One out. Partners on second and first. First and second. Second and first. First and second. Get those moved. Oh. Didn't get a really good jump on that little rolling pitch. <coughs> it's an eight one swick lead. Two balls, one strike. Got one out. And the pitch. There's another ball. Foul ball, back and out of play for strike two. And there is a base hit. It about took out the umpire. Line drive right to left field. All right, now we have bases loaded. That we've got three singles in a row. We've got number 17, Kinley Sparks, up to bat. All right, catcher's going to call time. Talk to her a little bit. Try to get her to calm down, but. We'll keep it here. Yep. Just. Uh, that didn't take long. <laughs> no. They don't get very long. Actually, just for a little chit chat, they mm -hmm. don't get very long. All right. Kinley up to bat. Her last two at bats, she's grounded in a 4 3 put out and a single. And there's a high pop fly, second base, and they have her for the catch. All right, out number two. All right, which brings up number double zero, Rylan. Jarbo. Up to bat. And she's been the lucky two-out rally girl. And the pitch. Ball low. Rylan has struck out and grounded out to second. This game. And there. Oh, and right to the pitcher. And she throws her to first for the out. Oh, Bobcats had a chance, but they leave three runners stranded. No score. So, top of the seventh we go. It's an 8 1 Schwick lead. You're listening to Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. When a Fairfield fire truck needs a repair, Cam's there to keep things rolling. And as part of the volunteer fire department, Justin's looking out for Cam and all of Fairfield. Everyone supports each other, and Wayne White Electric Cooperative supports them all. 
with safe, reliable power for every one of our members. It's why REMCs exist. And together, it all works. Alright, and welcome back to Southwest Park. It's an 8 1 Schwick lead. Waiting on our catcher out here. So, uh, looks like we still have got uh, Kaylee, number seven, pitching for Frontier. She came in relief for um, Ivy Edwards, who went almost full five innings. She did go five innings, almost went six. She pitched. She pitched a great game. She really did. Mm -hmm. She had one, two, three. She did have three strikeouts. Two walks. One hit by pitch. All right. So, up to bat for... Number 17, Colleen Jonke. Oh, there's a foul ball back. And the Blue Storm could seal the deal this inning <laughs> if they score another run. Not necessarily. Frontier does have one more at bat. Yeah. Normally yeah. goes to seven innings, right? Yes. So this is the top of the seventh, so... That's now the first. Does have one more at bat. They just need another two quick outs and some runs. Yep. All right, we've got double zero. Uh, looks like she is pinch hitting for number five, Lexi Ryan. Sadie Ziegler. She takes ball outside. Sadie is a lefty hitter. Oh, and there is a slap hit right to the gap. Right center field. She's looking at second. And she turns back. Plate safe. All right, so for double zero, she gets a single. We've got number twenty three, Caroline Gibson. She is, oh, that was a foul ball. Rolled back off the fence. All right, we've got one strike on Caroline. And the pitch, and there is a hit to right field. She's under it for the catch. For out number two. Silly Sadie at first base. All right, we've got number one, Chloe Segara, up to bat. She takes ball high.
Wind has not stopped at all this entire time. Oh, and there's a little hit. Oh, nice catch for out number three. All right, well, Frontier goes to the bottom of the seventh. This is it. They've got a score seven to tie. You're listening to Mill Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. Let Black's flowers and gifts in downtown Fairfield make someone smile with some flower therapy. Whether they deserve a high five or need to feel better, a beautiful fresh floral arrangement from Black's will fit the bill. Also check out Black's for that perfect gift. They carry home decor, locally made jewelry, soaps and candles, candy and snack baskets, and balloon bouquets. For flower therapy or gifts for any occasion, see Black's Flowers and Gifts at 310 East Main in Fairfield or call 618-847-7076. And welcome back here to Southwest Park. It's an 8-1 Schwick lead over Frontier. Frontier needs to score at least seven more runs to tie this game and hopefully go into another inning. I'll take it home. Got extra popcorn out there. Do you want one? Nah, I'm good. Hey, you want one? It's the best popcorn anywhere. I mean, if you just want good popcorn and don't want to watch games, just come out here and support you know, the Bobcats and um, Southwest Park out here. Show your sport. Yes. Get you some popcorn and candy and drinks. Best popcorn. Still another beautiful day. A beautiful day today. We are in... Um, Spot on the seventh of game two of this two game series. Frontier Bobcats and Southwestern Illinois College. Frontier is at the top of their lineup with AJ Hollowell up to bat. Let's hope that she can get something started here. She walked her last time at bat, and there is a high fly ball center field. Center fielder's under it for the catch. And out number one. And here's Ivy Edwards, number 15, up to bat now. That wind just didn't catch it enough. Wind's been a big factor today. All right, we've got number 15, Ivy Edwards, up to bat. She takes ball one. Her last at bat, she had a fly out to first base. And there's a swing and a foul ball. Bounce back in. Bobcats not giving up. Oh, she's fighting in there. She's going to hang with that. Keep. Keep battling, keep battling. It's never over till, oh, way to hold up. That was a little off speed pitch. It looked kind of pretty there coming in and then just took a drop. Ivy held off to for ball two. So we have a two ball, two strike count. Pitch, and she's called strike three. Outside corner for out number two. That is two outs. Carly Bean up to bat. Two out rally. Let's score. Score seven on two out rally. Or make it eight. She takes ball. Oh, and there's a pop up and it's out of play.
Ah, jammed her on the inside for strike number two. They're not going to give her anything. They, Since that home run, they've really not given Carly much of anything to really get a good piece of. Pitching all around her, which can't blame them. And there's a hit. She reached for that one on the outside, and that's out number three, and that would be ball game. Um, well, Tammy, Frontier split this game. Mm -hmm. The first game, uh, Frontier won it 6-4, to four, and then the second game, uh, Schwick leads, wins it 8-1. Uh, <laughs> yep, Frontier lost game 2, 8-1, to one. so that puts be Ivy Edwards as the losing pitcher for that game. Um, but nothing had, had your hang about. <laughs> nope, they, they played a really good game that game one and came back and, and fought that game. And this game they uh, did well, just uh, they had one inning that it just really got away from them. Swick just started finding the bat to the ball and the gaps, and that was it. But, uh, yeah, it was good to see some of those uh, players that were injured back out there on the field, you know, that probably helps boost some spirits up. I mean, it was a beautiful day today. I mean, couldn't mm -hmm. ask for another beautiful day minus the wind. Yeah. You know. It was a big break but, from all that rain, though. But, yes. Well, Bobcats lose this game 8-1, to one, and that will. That'll do it for us here. Are we not talking to Coach or anything afterwards? Do we not? Or nah. Not today? Not today. Okay. Ma maybe next time. Okay, but well, it, it, until then, okay, when's our next broadcast? I didn't look at that to see it, when the next. It depends with all this weather we've been having. Well, let's see what the schedule says that without yeah. the weather, I uh, was going to look. And so we've got, uh, this is, we're on Mule Nation. Um, the Bobcat Nation will be, actually, it should be going right now at the college, the boys, the baseball Mm -hmm. College boys, um, they're playing right now on um, on Bobcat Nation. You can watch that, flip that over. Um, they are playing Kaskaskia. And then uh, let's see what our schedule is. Our next scheduled looks like the 16th is softball. High school softball against Hamilton County at home. Looks like the next Mule Nation broadcast. So, till then, I'm Tammy. I'm Alec. Tammy, it was nice doing the game with you today. And then we'll